Hey everybody, so I just got an, uh, a message from Huda from Saudi Arabia. Salam alaikum. She was asking, why is it that Americans are so ethnocentric? Why is it that, that Americans are so sure that they're right? She has dialogues with these Americans, especially American men. And uh, she finds a lot of them to be very um, arrogant. And they know it all. And they're not even willing to consider anything that they didn't come up with or America didn't come up with. Why is that? <clears throat> and I said, of course, I have the answer. The reason why I think I have the answer is because I'm another American. Americans are so sure of themselves. They're always speaking out. That's one thing about a free nation is people in free nations have a tendency to consider themselves experts on everything because they're talking and people are listening. I think when you go to places where people are who are oppressed or used to dealing with rulers and leaders, they just kind of go with the flow um, or more inclined to. Whereas in America, everybody has an opinion. Everybody wants to be in charge, to be the boss. Um, and I think part of the reason why, if you experience Americans being know-it-alls, it isn't because we know any more than anybody else. <clears throat> Partly, one, we pretty much speak one language, whereas these other people all over the world speak multiple languages. But we know we don't have to know more than one language because our language is the language of the world, and everybody's trying to learn our language. Our land is the land of the world. Everybody wants to come to America. At least that's the way it looks to an American. We discount all of the good, all of the wisdom from the rest of the world because we don't know about it. We never took the time. If you listen, if you ever listen to American news, it's very American. It covers America. You know, I spent a little time listening to some BBC news and I thought, well, that's not news. They're not talking about America. Some American news makes it over the pond. When Americans travel, they go to Hawaii. Hawaii, it's still America. I think that we see the rest of the world in a lot of ways as beneath us in advancement, when in fact, the advancements that we hold in our hands like our cell phones and our iPads and our computers, we didn't build them. We just learned how to use them. And they were very easy. So, uh, um, But somehow... You hand a caveman a cell phone, you show him how to press the buttons, and all of a sudden, he thinks he's evolved. So that's the problem with America. But it's also a bit of a blessing, because Americans have that sort of, um, that spirit, that American spirit. So you're going to find good and bad with everyone, but there's something about Americans, again, because we consider this, ourselves the center of the universe. And um, nobody has proven anything different to us. That's why I think people were so blown away by 9-11. When something outside of our little world came and hurt us, um, it blew our minds. It didn't fit our mental model for us being superior. So uh, um, I think that's what it is. And I think that the more you get international exposure, the more you learn to think like a global citizen. And that's what America needs to do. More people in America need to do that to get international news and to consider reaching out to the rest of the world. A lot of people don't want to do that because they're happy with the way we have it because we've got it great. Our poverty, we're, we have the richest poor people in the world. Most of our poor people don't starve to death like other countries. Our poor people are 50 times wealthier than the poor people in the poorest places in the world. So uh, um, let me know what you think.